here editing video. Um, as you see, that's my previous video right there. Actually, I'm not editing, I'm just looking at it because I'm trying to do this without editing. So I'm going to go take care of some stuff today. Finish my coffee, talking to myself in the coffee shop, all other people around me. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to take off and do my stuff. Here's an aerial view. An aerial view. I don't know how real interesting these videos are going to be because it's just going to be uh, mostly a talking head, you know? And I don't know if you want to see my talking head all the time. Um, okay, looks like a... Yeah, I'm about ready to, to go. My parking uh, is just about up. Yeah, something I do, you know, living in a box van, I, I usually open the back door just a crack to, to throw my backpack in there. Uh, I don't like the, when I'm in the city or something, I never open it up all the way because I just don't want people seeing in there, you know. They, they, they just think I'm some delivery person or something, you know. Um, kind of a, kind of keep the stealth going there, you know. But it's hard to do while I'm holding the camera, so you're not going to actually see it. Just imagine that in just a second, I'm going to unlock this, roll it up about this high, slide my backpack in there and lock it up, and then get in the car. <laughs> and I, ju I just said get in the car when I meant get in the truck or get in the van. I was saying, you know, this is the kind of thing you, you would edit out these mistakes, you know, that you make when you're making a video. You, you want to smooth it out, make it give it continuity, but you're not getting that on, on these. You're getting raw footage, unedited, as it happens. <laughs> I'm just going to, it's an experiment for me too, to see how it, how it flows. Um, so I'm going to go now. I got to go to uh, Home Depot, get some water. Uh, that's one place I get water. Uh, I can, I can just turn in my five gallon jug and get another one. And then I'm going to get some food and a couple of other things before I hit the road down to Cougar, Washington. Uh, by the way, let me explain the video thing just a little bit. I did the first sequence just a little while ago. And I realized <clears throat> I can keep doing sequences in the same day. So these, some of these will be shot in the same day. Uh, some of them will be day to day, but they're going to be in a continuous sequence. However, I'm just going to upload one video per day. So it'll be one video per day for 30 days. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of a backlog of videos before I start shooting them up to YouTube. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to do any prep to them at all. I'm going I'm to take a look at them first and see if they're presentable. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. It's always nice when the person behind you takes off first. Uh, that way I can back up a little bit and get out easier. Uh, okay, we gotta go to uh, Home Depot. I'm gonna go down here. kind of a certain part of the day you got to think about hitting the road. I took a, I took a day off from work to drive down there because uh, <clears throat> I just have a few errands to do before I hit the road. Grocery store, going to grab some food to take with me on the road. Hey, you know, I didn't have it shown anybody yet, but I got this little... Uh, Domatic refrigerator. It's right here in the front seat here. See right between the seats and I can plug that into my Cigarette lighter. I'm going to eventually wire it into my house battery So I'll have a 12 volt refrigerator all the time. It's not very high capacity It doesn't carry a lot of stuff, but I don't want a lot of stuff in a refrigerator That's the whole point of having you know a van is to minimize that kind of stuff, too I don't want a big old refrigerator full of rotting food all the time, so I, I think one of the things I've gotten into in this lifestyle is is 
you know, doing things on an as-needed basis. I don't stockpile stuff like I used to because there's no place to stockpile it. You know, you don't have space. Uh, that's what you tend to do when you live in a, a, a fixed dwelling. You, you, you fill up rooms and, and closets and garages uh, with stuff and refrigerators. Uh, so I tend to just get things as needed on an as needed basis. And you start thinking that way about life. You start thinking about, well, you don't think about getting something until you need it. 